down in us, we find what makes us function, what makes us human, our proteins. And now, we see them like we've never seen them before. The brain, so complex and in total control of our body, memories, thought, and one of our most vital functions, when we should be awake or asleep. We know that almost all parts of our brain are somehow involved in our sleep. But there is one peptide that is key, orexin. But if the cells which produce orexin die, this will lead to the disease narcolepsy. At the SciLife Lab, researchers are working hard to map out all of the different proteins in the human body. This is a part of the HPA, the Human Protein Atlas Project. Thanks to this, researchers specialized in a disease can study the protein involved in an open access library and see exactly in which cells the protein is active. But with the help of a new piece of technology, the research in studying our proteins has taken even one step further. So now they can look at them in 3D. Micro-universes of protein structures. What we can see here is a full mouse brain. What is interesting here is these two small cell groups in the hypothalamus called the orexin cells because they contain a peptide called orexin or in other name, hippocratin. In the mouse, there are only a few thousands of cells like this. Uh, in the human, in fact, uh, a few ten thousands. But despite their limited numbers, they have a big impact. The cells can project, with the help of axons, the orexin throughout the whole brain. And here you can truly see that. The orexin is stained in gray. And their message is vital. They tell us to wake up or fall asleep. The orexin cells are the key components in the switch between the two. They are uh, small, round cells, and they are packed uh, really densely. We can see lots of uh, processes, axons, and dendrites uh, around these uh, neurons. But if these cells die, severe problems will come. The switch mechanisms between sleep and wakefulness will become disabled and we start having fragmented sleep, sudden daytime sleep attacks, loss of muscle tone, or dreamlike hallucinations. This is a disorder we call narcolepsy. Most scientists believe today that uh, these neurons die because of a uh, selective autoimmune attack on these neurons, but uh, nobody knows why these cell populations are affected and why others are not. But the research goes on, and the 3D pictures might be the help needed. They can give us more precise information about where and how far the orexin cells communicate. Like here in this scan, where we can see that the cell's projections have gone all the way from the hypothalamus down to the lower brainstem, and work closely together with the locus cerellus neurons stained in red. These 3D pictures may help us to understand and see more comprehensively the complex anatomical systems which are involved in the regulation of the mechanism of the sleep and the wakefulness. Hopefully later on it will help us to understand better the conditions like narcolepsy and other sleep-related disorders. When we explore the world in new ways, we discover new things about us, about life itself. And now we see our proteins like we've never seen them before.